As a curtain of darkness falls and the unseen flutters in the whispering wind, there's a place in Ada, Michigan, where the past refuses to rest in peace. It's a tale as old as time, a ghostly legend that has continued to intrigue, frighten, and tantalize the senses of the locals and true crime aficionados alike. Ada, Michigan, quaint and peaceful by day, houses a 150-year-old legend that fills the night with an air of eerie mystery. The story of the Ada Witch, born from the ashes of a tragic love triangle, has been woven into the very fabric of Ada's local folklore. But who was she, and why has her story endured? The origins of the Ada Witch legend trace back to the 1800s, a tale that centers around a woman who, in the throes of marital unfaithfulness, plunged her existence and the afterlife into an abyss of tragedy. Each night, under the cover of darkness, she would slip away from her husband to rendezvous with her clandestine lover in the dense woods of Seedman Park. Her secretive nightly escapes did not remain undetected for long, however. Her husband, gripped by suspicion, decided to feign sleep one night, keeping a watchful eye on his wife. His worst fears were confirmed when he saw her steal away into the night. Consumed by betrayal and rage, he followed her into the shadows of the park. To his shock and horror, he discovered his wife in the passionate embrace of another man. The chilling discovery unleashed a storm of fury within him that changed the course of their lives and their deaths forever. Unable to contain his wrath, the husband attacked the lovers. The woods echoed with the terrifying sounds of a deadly struggle. In his rage, he brutally murdered his wife, and then under the cloak of the night, he engaged in a savage fight with her lover. By the break of dawn, the woods bore witness to a chilling aftermath. The lifeless bodies of the husband, wife, and lover lay silently on the ground, their tragic tale of love, deceit, and violence forever imprinted on the landscape. In the 1800s, the tale of the Ada Witch began to unfold, and even as the century came to a close, it simply refused to be forgotten. Over time, it took on a spectral dimension that sent shivers down the spines of those venturing into Seedman Park, Finlay Cemetery, and the desolate stretches of Honey Creek Road after sunset. Following the tragic events, eerie sightings and uncanny experiences started to plague the locals. A ghostly apparition of a woman forever draped in white was frequently spotted in the vicinity of Seedman Park and the cemetery. She seemed trapped in an eternal search for escape, sometimes appearing alone and other times accompanied by the spectral forms of her husband and lover forever locked in their deadly dance. As the years have passed, the tales of her haunting only grew in numbers and intensity. Hunters along Honey Creek Road reported chilling sensations of unseen entities walking behind them, accompanied by ghostly footsteps echoing through the silent forest. Some even claimed to feel inexplicable taps on their shoulders, only to turn around and find no one there. These stories ingrained the legend of the Ada Witch deep within the collective consciousness of Ada's populace. In 2003, a group of paranormal investigators attempted to unravel the mystery by identifying the real Ada Witch. They pointed to a woman named Sarah McMillan as the ghostly figure. However, this claim was debunked when historical records show that McMillan died of typhoid fever in 1870, making her an unlikely candidate for the witch. The revelation surrounding Sarah McMillan only added to the enigma surrounding the witch herself. With no definitive answer, the flow of curious visitors, ghost hunters, and of course true crime enthusiasts seeking answers did not cease. Unfortunately, the 2003 investigation did have unintended consequences. Due to the claim, McMillan's tombstone was vandalized and destroyed, leaving her resting place in ruins. But the community rallied around the misfortune and a local tombstone business donated a new headstone for McMillan's grave a symbol of respect amid the speculation. Meanwhile, the relentless quest for truth behind the Ada Witch continued. As true crime enthusiasts dug deeper, no concrete evidence could be found linking any mysterious or unexplained deaths in Ada to the legend. 
Theories abound, but the real identity of the witch remains shrouded in the mists of time and speculation. Yet this lack of clarity has not detracted from the intrigue, but has only added another layer to the mystery, attracting people from near and far to seek out this spectral figure. The impact of the Ada Witch tale on the local community is profound. Every year, especially around Halloween, the stories are retold, further engraving the narrative into the cultural fabric of the city. The spectral lady in white has become an integral part of local folklore, an echo of the past that simply refuses to be silenced. In the end, the legend of the Ada Witch serves as a reminder of the enduring fascination humans have with tales of love, betrayal, tragedy, and the unknown. Whether you're a believer in the supernatural or a skeptic, one thing is certain. The tale of the Ada Witch will continue to captivate, chill, and charm those who venture into the shadowed woods of Seedman Park, eager to unravel the truth of Ada's haunting specter.